Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be going over some exclusive leaks that have been sent to me via the source of yesterday's Zoom video that I did. So he actually showed Peiji two leaked photos, and Peiji was able to transfer that information over into this video, and he gave me the details for that yesterday. But today I'm going to be giving you guys two exclusive scenes that have been never heard of before. This is going to be in the 100th episode, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, these are scene descriptions, I didn't get to see any footage or any photos, so that's just to let you guys know. But this is going to be majorly spoilery, obviously there's going to be a element of spoilers in the title, but I'm not going to make it too spoilery, so if you don't want to be fully spoiled because these are scenes that are actually going to be happening in a few weeks time, when we get to the 100th episode, which is episode 8 of season 5 of The Flash, these are most likely going to be in the episode, so click off the video right now if you don't want to be spoiled, but for all of you guys that want to know the leaks, so the first one goes like this, Barry and Nora time travel to the night of Henry Allen's death, it's a vital part of the plan, but Barry doesn't want Nora to be there to witness all of it. So, wow, that first one is insane, like, if you remember back in Season 2, the second to last episode of the season featured Henry Allen actually dying, and this is great that they are confirming via this leak that essentially what's going to be happening is they're going to be going to these different periods, and I don't necessarily think for at least a few of these, like, they're probably not going to interact, but they're going to bear witness to a lot of what's happening. So, I guess you could talk of it like in a Game of Thrones type term, like the Three Eye Raven, like he, how he can see things, but they can't see him essentially. And so, that's like what's going to be happening in this scene. So, they time travel to the night of Henry Allen's death back in season two, and apparently, it's a vital part of the plan of what they need to do. And Barry doesn't want to show Nora, like, the devastation that Barry went through in that scene. So, additionally, the source actually confirmed to me Zoom is in multiple scenes, he's not just in that one that I described in Henry Allen's, and they are recording new scenes, we know that. It seems like Zoom is going to be playing a pretty big part in this 100th episode, and so that's all I know about Zoom for right now, but also, additionally, the source revealed to me Barry and Nora time travel back to Season 2, Episode 17, an episode called Flashback. This is the episode that Barry traveled back to get information from Harrison Wells slash Eobard Thorne. Barry and Nora talked to Barry from Season 2, so two Barrys and Nora shared scenes together. So, that is amazing. This is like, major spoilery, obviously, that we're going back to that specific point in time. If you remember, back in Season 2, Season 2 Barry actually goes back and he talks to Season 1 Barry and he interacts with Season 1 Barry but also he interacts with Harrison Wells and this is another major part of the story so Barry and Nora are going to talk, in fact talk they've confirmed to Barry from Season 2, they haven't said about Barry from Season 1 so we'll have to wait and see about that but essentially Nora's going to interact with another younger version of Barry and Barry's going to interact with his old version of himself, so obviously creating timeline rifts, like what's going to happen because they're going back to these specific points, and if they are spotted and talk like they're going to be doing in this one, so they are interacting in this purpose, I don't know about that Zoom Henry Allen one, I don't think they're going to be interacting, I think they're going to witness it, but it's a vital part of the plan. Same thing with this season 2 version of Barry actually going back into season 1 and they're going to be talking to him, they're going to be sharing scenes. So, along with that, we actually got the information yesterday from Pagey and from that specific source that has given me this information. We're in fact going to be seeing Zoom with Nora and like I mentioned earlier in this video, you know, there's going to be parts of the episode where I think they're going to sort of, like I said, Another comparison, apart from Game of Thrones, that you could make was Rick and Morty, like how the guys stand there, those weird looking people, like in the season premiere of season 2 I think it was, like they're there and essentially they're time travelling but they're not 
technically there like some people can't see it like when they freeze everything that's sort of a, a weird comparison but it sort of does play into what actually could be going on with some of these scenes especially the one that was described yesterday with zoom and Nora with how zoom is in in the background and you can see just a dark figure with his blue lightning and then Nora at the front like I don't necessarily think that's actually zoom sort of right behind Nora in real time because apparently Nora's face isn't of shock she's not in shock she just seems to be pretty normal from what it was described to me as it was like as Paige saw it in the photo and so I think there's going to be different elements of how they use time travel obviously it's still a theory right now but from the way scenes have been described I do think they're definitely going to be meeting as the source exclusively revealed to me for this video and also I think there's just like different ways they're going to use time travel because they are going to use it quite a lot jumping from these different times like we're probably gonna see Savitar at some point because Tony Todd when I was at MCM Comic Con with DC World uh, DC World actually found out that Tony Todd is returning as Zoom Zoom's returning but also loads of other speedsters from the past are going to be returning so we hazard the guess that it's probably reverse flash from season one zoom obviously because tony confirmed that and then additionally along with that you would hazard the guess savitar is going to return due to him being one of these big speedsters that we've had in the past uh, so i wonder if we're actually going to get a team up you know it potentially could happen i think everyone would be so down for that i'm talking about the fans here having savitar reverse flash and zoom actually team up i think that's like a fan's dream come true but you know there's probably a lot of doubt going into this if savitar returns because a lot of people don't like savitar personally i really like him so i would have no problem i, I just want to see these different versions of our characters and with how this source actually describes the time travel and the different aspect of how zoom is going to be popping up in multiple times it seems like they are just going to be sort of doing like a rick and morty and hopping between these different periods of barry's past and Nora's obviously an integral part to it, maybe to time travel without being noticed, or maybe Nora has to be taken back in order to be taught a lesson of what could happen if she messes up in the future, like changing the timeline, maybe they go back to Flashpoint, maybe he will actually explain something about how he saved his mum and how, you know, how he's basically screwed the timeline so hard and how that affected the future. And how everyone literally in the Arrowverse like slated him for that. And so with her changing the timeline like obviously in this season. I think it's going to be acting as like a big warning. Like going back to Harrison Wells from season 1. Seeing the old version of Barry. And with our Barry like time travel is seen sort of like a sin in the show. So I'm guessing this is going to be a big lesson for her. But also at the same time they are on that mission. And from the scenes that we've been told about, I think it definitely hints at that Nora is an integral part of this, but it remains to be seen like how she's going to be fully incorporated into this plan into stopping Cicada. So, like that's about it for this video, guys. So let me know in the comments below. Are you guys really excited to see Henry Allen return? Obviously, it's going to be sort of edited so we get to see Barry and Nora in that specific scene that was shot back in season 2 that was included then and also let me know are you really excited to see the return of Zoom and these other speedsters I think it's so intriguing that they're all going to return like they are my favourites I'm not too fond of the thinker I wouldn't be too bothered if he returned also at the same time I don't think it's necessary I don't think he's a fan favourite like a lot of these other ones He's not as interesting essentially. Additionally, just to end off this video, I just wanted to quickly say, can you guys please go over to Discussing Films YouTube channel and please click subscribe because I've done some interviews for upcoming DC projects, upcoming films. I talked to one of the Punisher actors and sometime later today, tomorrow or the next day, we finished the interview and I can exclusively reveal to you guys I did an interview with Danielle Nicolette who plays a seal on The Flash. Obviously, she's a big thing this season. She's a series regular. 
and she reveals some interesting information about season 5 and what's to come. She's especially excited about Cicada, I'll tease you that. So please go in the description below and go follow Discussing Film on YouTube, also on Twitter and follow their website as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Sure, free.